I discreetly went behind that sign. Our dogs are only got one in custody or two in custody. I'm not going to stand by and just let get punched. Punch back, Whoever ordered the pizza is now causing a disturbance there. Holy smokes. That's what's left of the car there. You're sitting in there and you're drinking alcohol while you're eating, too. No, I like this. Oh, we got a drunk male sleeping in the hallway in an apartment here. That guy that hit him was at a red light for sure because everyone was stopped. Just stop there, okay? Don't move. If you want to get charged you, for assaulting a peace officer. Assaulting you? Dude, yes. You touch you, buddy. You're on it. You touch You me. get back in your house right now. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. I'm bringing my bros from Toronto. Fuck off with them. Hey, 15 grand a hit, I don't give a shit. Get them out of my face. You know, Is that your brother there? He's never lay on me yeah. all my life. Can I talk to you just for a sec? Make things Sir, a little easier. You can't just talk. Sir, why? What's the problem? He's never There's laid no on me. Okay. Yeah. What do you got a hurt on we, me? We for, just want to make sure. Can you can can you hey, talk to you for a second? How uh, can please? you? No, no. You come I'm in. I'm not going to do anything to you. <laughs> how can you get a hurt on me? What are you being so defensive me? for? Uh, what are you asking me questions for when I said I don't want to talk to you? Well, we're here because of a complaint. Do you understand that? I didn't pull it up. What? Other people did. Okay. Clubs on you like shit. Shorty. 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 Be quiet. Okay. You want to fuck me? You're like flinging blood on me. You think the club's going to fucking... It's kind of fucking gross. This guy, I'm sorry. The girls are okay. I don't pick an no officer's no man. Is no the fight between you and Joey here? Family, man. And they laugh at. Is the fight that. between you guys here tonight or what? That's a big it's joke, a fight, dude. It's just, just an argument. Not. It's a big joke. Just just not to to you all video. Okay, me, relax. Man. Relax. You know. Tell your buddy to relax, okay? Just relax. He likes me to come out with him, man. Okay, no, buddy, you know what? Boom, right. boom, boom. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. You'll be getting a boom, boom. Yeah, I, I know that. I know that. I know that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I know that. I know it. I mean that. That's me. So I love more. Solid, good people. You guys got ideas? Tired. Look at this shit, man. Yeah, I got a name. Don't fucking matter, really, does it? It does because we gotta go put a paper on everything we do here. Okay. No fucking John, man. Fucking address, you know. Deal, man. You know okay, Jody. Okay, relax. They rock. Jody. Rock. Jody. Jody. How's it going? Sir, fine. Okay, you all right? Just getting pissed, man. I hear that. Everybody's terrorizing at me, man. Okay. But you know what? My family's come on down. Right. They're here. All right. Okay, now Jody. Getting pissed. That's the truth. Okay, Jody. Pigs punching at me, man. Relax. Jody. Ain't no more of this. I'm not gonna stand by and just let get punched, man. I'm gonna punch back, man. Relax. Two seconds. Okay. Man. Jody. You know, buddy, Jody. you're a rocker. I Jody. know you're a tough dude, man. To I in? know. Boom, 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 huh? right? Are you gonna have to come back? Hurt and come back? Well, I'm just asking you a hurt question, me. okay? I just wanna make sure that I'm gonna hurt that them, tonight, though, right? man. Yeah, well. Really bad. You got family. What's the problem? Uh -huh. What's the problem? I don't like. Drag me up. Drag me up. We just want to make sure there's not going to be any more problems here tonight. No, right? we want to make sure yeah. you guys okay. leave us alone, please. We will leave you alone. What's your last name, Jody? Do you got ID? No. You don't, eh? Watch your feet there. Sorry. Let me see your hand. No more hands. Is it all right? Yeah. Listen, Jody, do us a favor. Keep her quiet tonight, all right? Try to keep yeah, it inside the house. Sorry, but I'm okay, well, this this is something you're gonna have to deal with your landlord, right? Okay, uh, let me know. Uh, we haven't pulled the file yet. If you need it, we'll um, set up. 10-4. 0021 info, go ahead now, please. What we got here is uh, we got called to a possible domestic uh, disturbance. 
where uh, there were two males yeah, arguing and shouting. We attended uh, an address that we didn't uh, really exactly know at first where we would be going because the complainant was calling from one street over. So it's obvious how, how loud they were being. Um, he heard windows smashing and whatnot. Uh, we attended this residence here where we found uh, one highly intoxicated male uh, was discussing something with, with another male. They were very uncooperative with us. Um, it was unknown whether or not the uh, actual identity or, or the names that they gave uh, for themselves were their actual names. But we ran those on the police computer CPIC, and uh, one of them shows a possible hit for a warrant uh, for that one subject that's uh, highly intoxicated. So we're going to see what we can do to get him back outside uh, as we can take a look and see if his tattoos match up. And if so, uh, we'll be putting him in jail and commit a warrant for search for theft under. Aiden. You trying to get rid of Jody here? Do you want him to go home? Yeah. Do you need a ride home? Aiden? Do you want him out of here or what? That's what it's about. Are you going to go home or what? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to go now. Actually, if you guys want to give me a ride, then I'll go. All right, we'll give you a ride. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if it's if it's gonna cause less crap no, here, I will we'll give I'm, you a ride. I'm gonna go home any I'm walking. I'm pretty like civilized people. Well, Seriously. come on, you're gonna come with us, okay? Come on, come on, you're under arrest. Hey, under you can't arrest? Come to my house, yes, I can't because he's under arrest. For what? Let off. You're under arrest. There's a warrant out for you. Good. So for you theft to, under. Theft under. So you have to beat the fuck out of somebody? Hey, you have to f smash it? You hey, hit Jody, somebody. listen to me for here for a second, okay? Believe me. What, man? So my duty to inform you have the right to retain and instruct counsel without delay. You may call a lawyer if you want. Yeah. Legal aid due to lawyers will be able to provide legal advice to you without charge. And can explain legal aid plan to you. If you wish to contact a legal aid duty lawyer, I can't provide you with a telephone number. Do you understand that? Huh? Jody? Watch this guy. What do you want? No, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. If you want to get charged me, for assaulting a peace officer. Assaulting you? Hey, yes. I touch you, buddy. Dude. You, touch you get back in your house right now or you're obstructing us. I'll stand right You get around. back inside your house right now, or you're obstructing us, and you'll be going to jail. Jody! Okay, gentlemen, he's gonna have to be hog tied, so be careful with him. Hey, I'm not a little. Watch your feet. You'll get a call when you get back. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. No, we're on our way to a hockey game. Okay, yeah. I know, I know. I okay, you that. are upset yeah, because yeah. I was taking a leak. Okay, now I'll be honest with you. The washroom in there was full. Okay, we're on our way to a hockey game. We were sponsored by the bar. The bar here sponsors us. Mm -hmm, okay, yeah. I had to take a leak. Okay, I discreetly went behind that sign. I mean, it wasn't like I was like like this. I went behind that. What's your name? Oh, Tyrone. To meet you. Okay, okay, Tyrone. Can't shake hands? Okay. This um, is a little bit busier on this side, don't you think? No, but the point was, it's Burnaby. I mean, uh, you know, I've, I've taken so many leaks there in so many years. So what makes Burnaby the, the city that you can have a leak? No, no, but it's the leak parking leak. lot. It's the parking lot. It's no big deal. It's just like, you know. So you want to write me a ticket for taking a leak? But the point was, you know, it's human nature. You got to go. But we're on, we're on our way to a hockey game. We got a hockey game in. Ten well, minutes. We're, well, we're, we're, we're done. We're gonna do I buy the car today, as you can see. I just and he's our water. chauffeur, and he's been drinking coke. You know, I've had a couple. I play better hockey when I drink.
<laughs> just, I just can't believe it. Just have a seat in the car. Don't start it up. And I'll be right with you guys, okay? Just have a seat in the car. Me? Yep, all of oh, yeah. you. Right. So you guys don't go walking away on me. No, we're not, we're not going to go anywhere. We're not going to walk away. No, but I just want to make the face off. I just want to make the face off, well, okay? Get in the car for a second. Walk back to the bar. Burnaby Bravo for me switching the info to run some mails. All I did was take a piss. Hey, you better not be swearing out loud public though. Nah, they might give you something else. That's not a swear word. You watch NYPD Blue, they use that term all the time. Uh, well, that's the States. It's my Canada. We stopped this vehicle because uh, one of the young men who was in the front seat now uh, was urinating on, uh, on the street. Once we check these guys, it turns out that uh, this vehicle, uh, the driver claims that he just bought it today. However, he doesn't have any of the transfer papers and stuff required when uh, you transfer a vehicle. Therefore, this vehicle is being driven without insurance. And as a result, we're going to get the vehicle towed. He's not going to be very happy. And they're going to have to go on to their, uh, their hockey game some other way, via cab or something. So we're just going to let this young man know that him now. Tempor. Well, there's one way you can do it, okay? Either I'm going to give you a ticket for $300 for no insurance, or you let me tow the tr I'm going to tow the car now, and I'll let the ticket slide, and you can get up the you can get your papers for it tomorrow. Come back with the papers, then you can leave it. Then you can drive it away. Okay? The only reason I'm not letting you drive now is because you don't have the papers and stuff to show that you've done it. If I go get the papers and come back, I can drive it out of here. As long as I got a signed transfer and stuff. You have to have your transfer yep. papers and stuff. Where are they now? Uh, they're at home. They're at home. Yeah. Are they at home or you have to go get them filled out and bring them back? No, no, they're at home. I was in a rush and I never... I well, if you were in a rush, you were... <laughs> you weren't in enough rush that you could put the plates on it today. <laughs> right? So I can park it here and then no, I can... No, no. Either I'm going to tow it now and yeah. tow it to the compound and then you can show up there with the transfer papers and drive it away. Okay? That or you can keep it here and get yourself a $300 ticket for driving with no insurance. <laughs> you uh, call yourself a cab, go to the hockey game, yeah, yeah. this thing I'll will be towed, right this away. thing will be towed to the Monday's tow lot, just around the corner, yeah. and after your hockey game, you can head home, pick up the transfer papers, go there and pick it up. All right, so tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, tonight, as long as you have the transfer papers, because I'm going to tell them that you can't, uh, hack, can't pick hack. it up until you have the transfer okay. papers. I'm going to call a hack, yeah, okay. Monday's right here, 6th Street. Yeah, can you send me one Monday's tow to my location, please? Unreal. I can't believe this. Well, I'm sorry, I'll all pay for it. What's your 20? Uh, at Kingsway and Edmonds, just uh, in behind you know the bar. No, I think it is their KVOS. I think it's the number 666. And I think God is getting me this time. I really do. Okay, but our hockey team wins. So, so as long as you show up there with the transfer papers, you can pick it up, okay? Okay. Great. Thank Fair enough proposition. Great. Great. Save yourself yeah. $300 fine. Yeah, five minutes. That's a pay for the, the tow. Grim Reaper's rule. We're the best keep, hockey team. Keep, ever keep it in your pants, eh? I will. Well, well my car gonna I'm not Pee Wee Herman here. I mean, I mean I'm not well, sitting okay. in a movie theater. Hop in your cab. Disgusting. I Hop mean, in your cab. I've, nature called. I had a call. That Hop in your okay. cab. All right, we'll see you later. All right. We've got a couple of guys down at this uh, recycle plant, and they're apparently stealing scrap metal and loading it into a truck. They keep going back and forth. So right now, we have our dog handler and another member going through there, and they are trying to locate them. We have security watching on a on a monitor and updating us as to their location. And we're just waiting here to see where they end up coming out and if we can set up some containment when when they do come out. There is a uh, only this one road in to the area, so. Uh, if they come out of there, they've got to come past us. The idea is to stop them before they do get into the vehicle because uh, obviously we don't want to get into a chase if we can avoid it. Okay, apparently our dog handler's got one in custody, or two in custody. Which follows okay, we're going to walk the two these guys out. 12 and 23 meters there. We'll be here at 20 when you walk out. Can I grab them, man? No. I want those. Where do you guys live at? Huh? New West, eh? Do you want one of them in my car here? We have uh, 
two males in custody. The dog got a bite on one of them. Uh, they were moving scrap metal from the yard outside somewhere, and we're just trying to determine where they might have been stashing it. And one of our members is going to go back and take a look at the video and see exactly where, uh, where they were and where they were taking the scrap metal from. No cart, there are no carts on. Where's the stuff they were hauling in? I have no idea. No. No, he, he's all searched. Yeah, he's all searched since then. How did the track go with these guys? Well, we went into the, uh, to the yard there and they weren't sure if they're still in the yard or not, so we uh, searched the yard. Uh, couldn't locate the suspects in the yard, so uh, just did a perimeter search of the yard and located the track exiting the back. Uh, track for four or five hundred yards through some. Uh, a uh, landfill area, grassy, uh, pretty rough country. There's some gra uh, ditches and that uh, located the suspects hiding in it, uh, amongst a bunch of rocks and trees and grass kind of thing. Were they lying down? Yeah, they were. Uh, they, I think they knew that uh, we were looking for them and uh, had to take cover there. Did they have like scrap metal on them, or did they have it it's, like they, they stashed had, somewhere? Yeah, they had a pile of. Uh, wire in that that they had hauled out. I guess they'd made several trips. Uh, the security guard had observed in there. They had made several trips in out of the yard and they had a pile of stuff out in the, in the field area. Was it copper wire? Yeah, I think it was copper wire. I wasn't too sure. It was uh, big coils or some kind of wire. So the dog got a bite, obviously. Yeah, it was, uh, I wasn't sure what he'd indicated from quite a distance away. Uh, and uh, that there was something ahead of us. So. Uh, pretty dark when we ran into this area and uh, he grabbed the one guy by the arm. Uh, as, he, as we got there, the guys were starting to get up, so uh, I guess he thought they were probably going to run, so he grabbed the one guy by the arm. So the other guy didn't get bit at all? No, no. Uh, once the dog showed up, he kind of laid still. So. so they weren't actually inside the compound by the time you guys got them? No, they were, like I say, they, they either thought somebody was after them or they just happened to be making one of their trips out to hauling the stuff out and they were outside the compound. And they never found a vehicle in the area either? Not that I uh, am aware of. Not, but... Long walk. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. The members had an earlier complaint of, of a pizza delivery person going to a place and not getting paid for his services by uh, whoever ordered the pizza. So we got that matter settled with um, but now it seems that whoever ordered the pizza in the first place had come down to the restaurant and is now causing a disturbance there. Thanks, Mark. We don't need to break my arm. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not Okay, why, why did you guys come back? Why did I come back? Uh-huh. It's because it says two for one on the thing. Okay. And then what happened? And I only got one, one of each. Okay, why don't you just get back in the back of the uh, police car over here and we'll clear it out. Yeah, <laughs> Was he alone, sir? Was he alone? He did it with three guys when we were... Okay, but he came back here alone. Alone, I think, yeah. Okay. about my window, but I think I did bang in the door. Okay. Just a second, sir. Is it a two-for-one night? Or? No, it's always two-for-one. It's just this guy doesn't understand what two-for-one is. Basically, what happened was... Uh, he ordered a pizza, and he expected to get four mm -hmm. for the price of one. And... Uh, he and him and uh, the the pizza company had him and the pizza company had uh, an argument, and he wasn't he was refused to pay. So we attended. When once we got there, he uh, he decided to uh, pay for it. Uh, we left, and then I guess he showed up here trying to get uh, his money back and arguing with the manager, pulling on the door, trying to break in. Uh, so he's under arrest. Right now. Forget it. Well, I should have got two. Yeah. Yeah, forget it. Yeah. I'll tell you later, pal. When you see 30 tomorrow morning. He didn't come here driving. He walked down, and he came back and tried to argue with the uh, manager some kind of misunderstanding about his concept of what a two-for-one is. 
So he's wandering around drunk in a public place, so we might as well just uh, take him back to the cells and keep him for his own protection. And also for the peace of mind of the uh, pizza place. Yes, I am. Okay, ako pinagasa ko nila rin eh. Oh, talaga? This is to Pilipinas, si Presley. Dahil uh, lasay, hindi naman, hindi naman siya dapat naglalakad dahil, dahil lasay siya. Okay. Hindi siya dapat ng gugulo, hindi siya dapat naglalakad. So, imbis na pakawala namin, dadali na lang namin sa presinto. Okay. Okay? Thank you very much for your time. Okay. You. You're welcome. Bye-bye. We just have been advisors. Uh, I believe uh, MVA at uh, 92nd and uh, King George. We're just going to slide by there and uh, see what we got. We were just called in by uh, Delta 25, who was that scene as well. Looks like a pretty serious accident here. Uh, over here we have uh, Constable Miller. He's, uh, he's one of our tra series traffic analysts. Uh, looks like they're measuring skid marks. Here, uh, they got a nice mark going right down from here, as, as you can see right from the back of the flashlight, where the flashlight is, all the way up to where the other police cars are up. We'll just go up there and have a look. As you can see, there's the wreckage toward, to the right where the fireman is right now. And the skid marks are on going from back where that flashlight is. You can see here, he's taken out a pole, a light pole that was here. It's laying across the road now. Here's the skid marks here. 25 clear. And we'll just stay to the side of this. All right. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of a mental to keep going. And you can see the nice gouge in the pavement there. Nice deep gouge, broken concrete along the curb line here. And this is where he uh, hit the grass here. And holy smokes, that's what's left of the car there. Sounds like a car car come along and cut, cut one off. Uh-huh. Back down there, and then they come in through here. They out one or two of these light poles. Uh-huh. Slipped in there. When we got here, the ambulance was taking a couple away. The guys okay. take, take, so I'm not sure what the extent of the injuries were. OK. What kind of vehicle is that? That's a good question. I'm not sure right now. I didn't get in close there. They were working on it. As you can see, there was a, a Bonanza Motel sign that was destroyed in the process, which I believe was back there. That's been uprooted. And you can see where, where the actual sign was. First indication, uh, there was, uh, it indicates that uh, the vehicle here was uh, traveling at uh, relative high speed coming down the King George southbound. Um, was apparently cut off by another vehicle, started to swerve, took out a lamppost, and uh, rolled uh, two or three times. People uh, were taken to hospital, undetermined injuries right now, we're still investigating that. And uh, it looks as though uh, speed is definitely a factor here. Three of the luckiest guys in the world to get out of this one. The walk out okay? Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. No injuries? Oh, slight injuries. Okay. Uh, maybe a broken arm, maybe. And cut, cut on his arm, the other guy's limping. But... Uh-huh. No alcohol, eh? I don't know. I haven't seen any laying around. Okay. As you can see, that's the back, uh, part of the back hatchback. Fin, you could say. Tail. Front tire. It's from the front left side, that's probably where it hit the concrete as well, back on the curb. As you can see, debris, debris all over from right back here, right up to that police car. Here's a second Bonanza sign that was taken out. You can see the steel, it's a steel sign embedded right into the ground and ripped right out. Uh, missed the phone booth just by, inch, by a feet or two. Uh, after speaking to a couple of traffic members, it's quite obvious that speed was a factor in this situation and that this vehicle may have been cut off, which uh, guy swerved and lost control 
Uh, there's three males in the vehicle. Uh, apparently they all walked out, uh, no serious injuries. Maybe a broken arm for one fellow. But other than that, it's not too serious, no serious injuries to the individuals. Very lucky. People figure if they speed a little here and speed a little there, it's okay and they get away with it. However, speed was a factor in this situation and uh, people take their time, leave five, 10 minutes earlier to where they're going, you know. It's a lot safer and you don't get into messes like this. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. Right now we're headed to a, a refuse to uh, leave at Tim Hortons Donuts. Uh, they haven't supplied too many details, but there's a, a male in there that's uh, refusing and they require police assistance to get him out of there. I came there from uh, Washington. What's that? Hey? He'll eventually get it. All the way up here. What's your name? That's just a war. War of Okay. Come on, stand up there. Is this your bag? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any, do you have any other bags? That's or, all. That's it? That's the war of Okay. Okay, don't mind handling it. All right, well. Well. Uh, you touch me? You follow this guy up here. What, what's your first name? Hey? What's your first name? Jeez, I forgot that. Okay. Well, what, what's happening is that you're sitting in there and you're drinking alcohol while you're eating, too. No, I wasn't. Well, that's what we were told. What I did, I ordered for coffee and I got my coffee. And they gave me my coffee and I paid for my coffee. Yeah. But I never touched no alcohol. You didn't spike your alcohol a little while, your coffee a little while you were there? No. No. Not whatsoever. How much have you been drinking tonight? Hey? How much have you been drinking tonight? Yeah, I came from, uh, came from Oroville, Washington. Yeah. I, I never touched very much whatsoever. And when I got over here, I never bothered with nothing because I was looking for a friend of mine. Have you got a place to stay here in Kelowna? I wish I did, but right now, I'm gonna look for a place. If I can't find a place, I guess I'll go for a motel. Yeah. Have you got money on you? Yes. You have money for a motel? Yeah. Okay. Apparently, you've been a real pain in there. That's that's what they said. Oh, they, were, they don't want me in there. No, they don't want you in there at all. They said you were a real pain in there. Okay. You tell them, when you go down the streets, they're a pain in the ass, too. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna have to seize your booze on you. I'm gonna have to seize your booze. It was not open. It is open, though. It was not open in the public. Yeah, you've got open booze in here, yes. though. Those were too tight. It was never touched. Yeah. Well. You've been drinking, I can smell it off your breath, and you've got open booze in there, so I'm seizing your booze. I didn't drink from that, but I was drinking over in a public over okay. there. Well, I'm not going to argue with you, because I'm going to be seizing your booze. When can I receive them? When can you? Well, I can give you an address you can write okay. in Victoria, and you can apply to try and get your booze back. Okay. And I think what's going to happen to you is you're going to be under arrest for drunk in a public place. I'm not drunk. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Okay? Yeah. Because I'm going well, to a place. I'm not I'm not tell. No, I'm not gonna let you. You're gonna end up you're under arrest for drunk in a public place. Okay. Okay? You wanna for come no, and have a seat in my car? For no reason, eh? No, not for I'm any not reason. Drunk. I'm come not on. intoxicated. I'd like you to come have a seat in my car, please. You're 
Okay, you're under arrest for drunk. Okay. Yep, let's go. Have a seat in my car. I'm not intoxicated. Okay. Save you the price of a hotel room. Come on, let's go. He was okay. drinking alcohol inside Tim Hortons as well. He was uh, being a bother to the other customers. So we've arrested him for drunk in a public place. We're seizing his booze from him, and he's going to spend the night in jail until he sobers up. I paid for my motel. Did you? You should have been there. Should have stayed there. Have a seat there. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. We'll be attending um, a report of an injury motor vehicle accident uh, in the area of uh, 104 Avenue and 137 Street. Called in by Delta Sunshine Cabs. Report of the vehicle slipped on its side uh, right at the light. Uh, at this time, with the uh, being 2.30 in the morning, um, there's a possibility of, um, of this being uh, alcohol related. Your shoulder out? Or? Yeah, I shoulder. Okay. Were you driving? Yeah, I was driving. What happened? I don't know, we're coming to the intersection. All I know is someone hit us. Oh, witnesses, someone here, I think. I'm seeing a car in my rear view mirror right here as I was flipping over. You got a license plate number in the car. Okay, I realize you're hurt right now, but do you have your driver's license with you? Yeah. Okay, can you get it? Company yeah. here. Anybody witness the accident? Okay, I'll be with you in a few minutes, okay? You want to have a seat in my car here? Sure. To relax, or actually, the ambulance is just yeah, yeah, here. I'll sit in my Okay, let's go over. <laughs> Why, are you working right now? Yeah. For whom? Getting management. We own the Surrey Medical Clinic and Fraser Heights Medical Clinic. And, all and what, are you, what were you doing? Mm -hmm. He's the driver of this vehicle here. Um, apparently, he was hit by somebody else, so that's all I know for now. Okay, you can turn around. Oh, there's someone else. Who witnessed it? Who witnessed the accident? We got the car. What's the license number? Uh, DGB. It was uh, a brown car. Like a Spanish like brown? Like, like almost gold. Yeah. Like a Nova. It was like a Nova or something like that. There was about four people in it. Okay. Yeah, it was four. Yeah. Okay. Like what direction did it go? It was coming from this way. They just they just didn't stop at the light or whatever. And they hit this vehicle yeah, here. Yeah, this guy, this guy okay. was uh, going. Do you know if this what vehicle was going through a green light? He was at a that guy that hit him was at a red light for sure because everyone was stopped. He must have been green, eh? The light this light was just changing, yeah. right? Like everybody else here was stopped. Yeah. And, and he went, yeah when right when right when he went when he threw it was red it turned red. Sure. The light was just changing to green, and this guy just, I guess he came slightly before the light changed, and then he went right through. And I guess but this guy was, what, ahead of us? Then, yeah, right? yeah, he's, yeah. That would have been us. <laughs> yeah, one car would have been us. The uh, pickup truck that was um, westbound on 104 Avenue and um, was broadsided by a tan-colored uh, Nova, uh, late uh, 70s vintage. The, uh, the driver of the Nova fled uh, with his vehicle, and the attempts to locate him at this time have been uh, negative. Uh, the file is still being investigated. Well, we got a drunk male sleeping in the hallway in an apartment here. That's what it's called in as. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Yes, he's my tenant. He's one of your tenants? Where does he sleep? Buddy. Number 15? He's just lost. Buddy. Look at this. The lividity in him and he's still alive. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. Hey. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's the police. Wake up. What are you doing here? Do you know where you are? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You'd been drinking? Yeah. Yeah, you got some ID on you? Can I see it?
Comfortable spot? Yeah. Yeah? You forgot your pillow. Mm -hmm. Where were you drinking? Do you remember where you were drinking? Yeah. Where? My house. At your house? Yeah. How did you get here? My house. This isn't your house. Do you live with anybody? No. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license? Do you? Yeah, I do. Do you? Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm asking you if you do, sir. Do you? Do I what? Do you have a driver's license? Yes, do you? See that one. What else you got in here? here let me see. Well, let me see. What other ID do you have? ID, ID. Yeah, do you have picture ID? Yeah. Well, let me see. Do you? Let me see your picture ID. You're at a white supremacy group? Yes. Are you a white supremacist? No. You're not? No. Are no. you? <laughs> but we take you home so you can sleep in your bed instead of on the stairs. Does that sound like a good idea? It's up to you. Well, what do you think? Think it'd be a good idea? Why don't you come on with me here? Come on. We'll take you home. Come on. No, put it in your wallet. Come on, let's go. Put it in your wallet. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Sure. Yeah, we'll take Either you home. Way, we'll take you home. Okay. Don't, don't fall down the stairs. Oh, oh I guess. No problem. Pardon? Do you want to put that in your wallet so you don't drop oh, it, or do you want yeah. me to hold it for you? Oh, yeah, I'll put it in my wallet. How did you uh, get into this apartment here? Just get lost on the way home? Oh, yeah. Does that happen often? Oh, it happens all the time. Does it? Just when you're drinking, probably, I guess, eh? Yeah. Oh, well. Gotta give everybody a chance, eh? Looks like you had a pretty good time. Well, doesn't it? Well, we'll try, I guess. You at a friend's place, or are you at the bar? Mm, oh, yeah, friend's place. Yeah? Mm -hmm. To serve and protect, we'll be right back. Just stop there, okay? Don't move. Because we've got a dog heading here, okay? So just stay there for one second. Prairie 17 Royal Plate, please. McKay Kingsville. Only be one minute, OK? It's uh, 20 to order. We're down at the uh, Edmonds Sky Train Station. We'll have an eye on this Copy that. Grant? Yo. Okay, the window is uh, forced open here. Yeah. This gentleman just saw two guys pop up when he heard the alarm. Go yeah. down the side here by the bushes. Now, we just caught this lady. We just stopped her. We didn't see her come up the street here, okay? Okay. You last saw him walking down on this side by the bushes here. Okay. Anybody else been up by the window? No. I, well, I was just for... I just went up to about uh, five feet away from it. I was coming up the, the street from my car just to get some water from the Mohawk gas station, crossed the street, heard an alarm go off. It sounded like a car alarm. And as I walked up, probably not 20, 30 feet from here, I saw two heads pop up where the police officer is. And I, I assumed, actually, that was a, going down to a parking garage or something. 
but I guess they, uh, the alarm went off and they just took off by foot and two of them came out of there and I was probably about 20, 30 feet away from them and they are pointing to where the noise was coming from. So I didn't know if the noise came from the restaurant or was coming from a car or whatever. So I didn't even know it was a break and enter until I got close and after they took off past the bushes, so. Justin. We, uh, we know who they are. Is it? Kurt just checked them uh, five minutes before this, they did this. We're gonna be actually got Can't ID them. No, I've got nothing from the scene, copy. Okay. You're the owner? Are you the owner? Yeah. Okay. They just broke your window down here. Uh, not the whole window. Did you the dog? Nope. Our dog tracked and we lost the track down the road. How many got Two guys. So what they did is they just kicked out the window, but they didn't get in. Okay. Okay. What time do you guys close up? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock? Yes. And you're out of here at ten? Yes. Yeah. About ten thirty, about here. Ten thirty? Okay. So there was two guys. Yeah. White guy or? Two white guys, yes. Okay. My hand, the tool is open. Just like that. Till's open, eh? There's a whole bunch of chain here, here, and up there. Is there bills? Yeah. How much money was there? $50, that's it. $50 Total. cash? Yeah, there's 50 in here. Okay, was this shut? No, it was shut. It was just open right now. Yeah, it was okay. shut. We always hide a key somewhere around here. How do you open this? Uh... You have to turn the key, I think. You have to, you have to turn the key. Was that turned? Turn the key this way, and then punch this, and the system will work. Was it turned? Touch. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing there, of course. Okay. okay. Is that right? Okay. So about fifty dollars, eh? Yeah, oh, there's some coin right there. Yeah, see that's corner right okay. there. Yeah, you'll have to keep that float. Uh, you'll have to keep that float uh, hidden someplace. Uh, apparently, uh, this B&E, uh, these two males did enter the building, and uh, 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 the owners have arrived in approximately $50 of cash is missing. So uh, our, our dog uh, came up empty tonight. Uh, he lost the track just down the road. So we got two young males out here someplace that are breaking into businesses, and hopefully we'll catch them before the night's over. He's coming up to a scene here with uh, two uh Two cars involved in an accident here. Looks like we got three cars on scene already. Uh, just take a closer look and talk to the investigating officer on this. I think it's Constable Koshin. Blue car's going eastbound on 108. Has uh -huh. solid red lights. Uh -huh. The white Chevette is going northbound on 150. Uh -huh. Has a solid green light. They decide to make the turn. Hey? Just don't need no, got your info, thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay. So anyway, Chevette has the green light going northbound, makes the left-hand turn and kaboom. Uh, Pretty... What are the extent of the injuries? They've taken, I think, one's going to SM8 from the Chevette. The driver of the blue car is fine. He's the gentleman standing with the arms crossed. So pretty, just pretty much just shaken up. Most uh, serious injury here is uh, whiplash, uh, smiled whiplash. She's the victim has been taken to uh, the Surrey Memorial Hospital. They're just taking a look at, but uh, the driver of the other vehicle is fine. Wasn't all that serious. Yeah. You know that you're in crime stoppers. I'm on crime stoppers. Please, like, like I want this written Wait. down on paper. Can we just go, please? Well, as soon as she lets me go. I am not, can I blow here? I am not drunk. I am not drunk. I will blow anything you want. I am not drunk. No. Wait, 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 excuse me. Wait, can I, no, wait, no. Okay, Where just, are we just go over here. For what reason? No, Oh, give me a break. You guys are not serious. You're serious. Very serious. Oh my God. I want a lawyer. Yes. Right now, I want my purse. I want a lawyer. I'll we'll bring it for you. Okay. No, I want everything. Yeah, sit down. Right now. There you go. Thank you.
Come on, you're gonna come with us, okay? Come on. Come on, you're under arrest. Hey, under arrest? Yes, I can't, because he's under arrest. For what? For what? No, but the point was, it's Burnaby. I mean, uh, you know, I've, I've taken so many leaks there in so many years. So what makes Burnaby the, the city that you can have a No, no, but it's the leak parking at? lot. It's the parking lot. It's no big deal. It's a, I never phoned him. Hey, sirs, let off. You're under arrest, there's a warrant out for you. Good. For you theft to, under. Theft under, so you have to beat the fuck out of somebody? Why did you guys come back? Why did I come back? Uh-huh. It's because it says two for one on the thing. OK. And then what happened? And I only got one, one of each. Okay, why don't you just get back in the back of the uh, police car over here and we'll clear it out.